everyone, welcome back to the cottage. Today we are going to be making pickles and we're going to show you how to do it. Let's get started. So to start you're going to need around eight or nine medium small sized cucumbers. These are pickling cucumbers. They're going to work the best because they retain that crispy, nice texture where the other kind of cucumbers can tend to get a little mushy. You're also going to need six cups of water, a half cup of apple cider, third of a cup of canning salt. It's really important to make sure that you're using canning salt and not just table salt, otherwise you're going to get it way too salty. Um, a tablespoon of dill, kosher dill pickling mix and a teaspoon of pickling spice. And we've got a recipe for the pickling spice up on our blog. And I'll post the ingredients down in the description where you can get all the stuff. So to start, we're going to wash our cucumbers and then here's where you can have a lot of options. You can make spears, you can make slices, you can make hamburger chips, or you could even leave them whole. For this video, we're going to go ahead and do spears. And you're just going to slice them in half. And then depending on how big your cucumbers are, you may want to cut them in half again, but I'm just going to leave it like that because I like my cucumbers. cucumbers are sliced. So all of our cucumbers are chopped into spears and we're going to start layering our jars. And as we layer we're going to add cucumber or the garlic and dill heads into the mix so that it's sandwiched in there with it. And if you cut too many, it's okay. You can just keep making jars until your cucumbers are all in brine. There we go. You're going to want to make sure that they're kind of tucked down in there and a little bit tight because they're going to hold each other down beneath the brine. Get one more in there. Nope. See a little bit more skinny one.
all nice and tight in the jar. And we'll put those in another jar later. So now on to the brine. You're gonna mix your six cups of water. And I'm using spring water. half cup of apple cider vinegar. This is raw vinegar. And the kosher canning salt. You can use either one. Pickling spice. There we go. And then the kosher dill mix. And this is actually something you can buy at the store in a bottle. I'll post a link in the description because I've had a couple of people asking me where they can find it. And it's just going to add to a little bit more crispy pickle. This is what the kosher dill pickle mix looks like. I'm sure other brands make it. This is what we're going to be using. And you're just going to mix this up so it all kind of dissolves. You don't want anything like salt sitting on the bottom. So once your salt is all dissolved, you're going to want to ladle it over your pickles. Just like that. And you can also taste this to make sure you like it. That is really good. But if it isn't quite where you like it, just add more of the dill or whatever the flavor that you're wanting in there that you think it's missing. I am a huge fan of putting extra garlic in mine. We are garlic loving family, so garlic goes in just about everything. There we go. And you're going to want to completely submerge your cucumbers in the brine, otherwise, they are going to not turn out right. Next up. And you can use a funnel, you don't have to. I just have a tendency to spill things, so the funnel it is. If you have extra brine left over and not enough cucumbers, you can stick it in the fridge and save it for your next batch. No big deal. So from here, you're going to want to put something a little heavy to kind of keep your cucumbers submerged. It may not be necessary, but I'm using these plastic canning lids. And they're smaller than the wide mouth can mason quart jars that we're using. And it's just going to keep the bugs off and still let air escape so that these can ferment and we're going to leave these on our counter for two days well two to four days and they are going to start fermenting which is going to give it that really yummy colossal pickle taste that we love and this again is our knockoff recipe for that and then we will be back in two days to show you what to do with them welcome back we have our pickles fermented it's been a couple of days i think we actually waited four days on these um and now they are ready to go in the fridge. So you're just going to remove what you're using to hold them under. Pop a lid on them. We like to date our, the top of our lids and then you just stick them in the fridge. And again, you can do anything from sandwich slices to hamburger chips. These are more sandwich slices or spears. And we've actually got a crock going of whole pickles. It works for anything. We've actually added some hot pepper flakes to some of ours to make spicy pickles, but you can taste them at this point and make sure that they are as fermented as you would like. Um, we, I recommend doing it day two, and if it's not fermented enough, then go ahead and do it on day four, and then go ahead and stick them in your fridge, and you're ready to go. We'll see you next time at the cottage.